Hey, Julie and Finalize, today we're gonna to go over some brain training drills. So if you struggle with balance or- Have difficulty focusing or have had concussions in the past, then this video is for you. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you a few exercises that you can do every single day that are simple and easy and you don't need any equipment to help you fire the right and the left side of your brain. So how it works is you're going to stand with your feet together, okay? So by doing these exercises, we're gonna actually be able to stimulate three different parts of your brain. And this is really important because as we age, those three parts of our brain tend to deteriorate and we want to make sure we, if you've heard that if you're together, it doesn't fire together. It doesn't fire together, it's not wired together. So essentially, what we're trying to do is we want to get the brain, the nervous system, we want to get the neurons firing in your brain to keep you young and agile and moving and grooving and doing the things that you love to do. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with your feet together. Okay, so if you do have a good balance, what you can do is you can actually put one foot in front of the other. So your heel is touching your front, uh, your back toes, or you can stand whichever one you feel more comfortable. If you have a little bit more balance, you can definitely challenge yourself that way. I'm just going to start with my feet together. And the first test we're going to do is we're going to bring our hands directly out in front of us. And what you're going to do is you're going to wiggle your hands back, the back of the hands together and the palms together. You're going to go as fast as you can with your eyes closed. So how it goes is we're going to close our eyes. Ready? We're going to go as quick as we can. So we do this for a few seconds and you're going to see uh, over time, does one arm kind of go all wonky? I'm feeling a little bit of a lag on my left side. So that's what I'm feeling a little bit. So your arm might totally go. You might notice that it's kind of like wiggly all over. So that's a, that's a sign that your right brain might not be firing off for the left side properly. And we're going to try to rewire those um, synapses so that things can start working together as a team. Okay. So the first exercise we're going to do is we're going to just stick our thumbs out one thumb you're just going to hold your thumb out at horizontal horizontal position okay so i don't want it too high or too low so with your feet together you're just going to focus on your thumb and you're going to focus on your breath so you're going to inhale and exhale focusing on your thumb okay so each of these exercises should be done for about 30 to 60 seconds okay inhale and exhale inhale and exhale in the interest of time, I'm not going to do this for the whole 30 seconds, but the next exercise we're going to do is we're going to change the gaze. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at our thumb and then we're going to look at a point of way from you, from the thumb, above the thumb, and then look at the thumb. So again, we're going to do this alternating back and forth for about 30 seconds. Okay, I'm not going to do this my whole 30 seconds, but just enough so that you'll be able to see a difference. Okay, back and forth. Cool. All right, next what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep our hands out in front, but we're gonna work on our ocular vestibular, so our inner ears. A lot of people I work with have um, ear, inner ear issues, and that's why they fall. If you're that person that tends to fall or you're, you feel clumsy a lot, it might be due to your vestibular system, so we're gonna try to stimulate that. So how does that work? You're gonna stick your thumb directly in front of you, and you're gonna move your head side to side of your thumb, but you're gonna keep your eyeballs right on your thumb. So you can go as quickly, focusing on that thumb or as slowly as you'd like so again this will be between 30 to 60 seconds feet together good so this is how we tap into that inner ear stimulation cool all right so that's the first three so next what we're going to do is we're going to work on frontal cortex okay so what we're going to do is we're going to focus on tapping each finger to your thumb okay so a lot so you can either tap back and forth depending on how, what works for you. Okay. So just see, we want to get the hang of this. So again, 30 to 60 seconds, and we're going to switch to the other side. Good. You might notice that one side, it might be a little bit harder to do. I might be going a little bit more quickly than you are. And that is totally okay. Just try to get the hang of it. Now, we're gonna add circumduction of the elbow. So again, this is stimulating. So your prefrontal cortex is all about how to control our extremities. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add circumduction to again, stimulate the brain a little bit more. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna circumduct my elbow on my right, I'm gonna tap on my left. So this one's gonna be a little bit trickier. Okay, you might not be able to do this and then you can try to change your direction of your elbow and still tap at the same time. This might be really challenging for you. You might notice that your hand is turning in, shoulders trying to move. So if this is, if you're struggling and you're not able to 
uh, move as well, then this is... This is something your brain thinks is a threat, so we need to reassess. When doing brain training drills, it's important that your brain feels safe. So if you're doing these exercises and you feel like your body's turning in or your hands are turning in, then we may need to reassess and figure out other exercises that you can do to help your brain train and find the right pattern in order to stimulate the prefrontal cortex. So if you're unsure, then please contact me and I'll be able to help assess you and help you make sure that you're, you're training your brain in the correct way. And then the last exercise we're going to do, again, with our feet together, we're going to try to draw the biggest circle we can, but we're going to stare at index fingers, okay? So what I want you to do, this is going to work on um, the, the range of motion of your eyeballs, okay? Your eyes have a lot of different muscles in there, and they uh, a lot of times, we because we're usually staring at screens in our phones, our eyes don't really work on the range of motion that we should. Eyes is just as important as anything else in your body. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to draw a circle without moving my head up or down. I'm going to again move my eyeballs and I'm going to trace a big circle as best I can following my finger. And I'm going to meet at the bottom and I'm going to go up, follow the finger. Don't let my eyes dart. Okay. Down. And move this one down. The key to this exercise is to follow your fingers smoothly. You may not be able to notice if your eyes are darting around. So if you have someone in the room can actually watch your eyeballs and notice if your eyes are following your fingers smoothly or not. The key is that you want to have a smooth pursuit of your eyes to your finger so that you can exercise your eyes in all different directions. So if you feel like you're not able to focus on your finger, then that is something of concern and definitely contact me. And that's something we can work on to help stimulate different parts of your brain. You do three each direction. Okay, cool. So those are your brain training exercises. Now the last thing is to retest. Let's see if we made a difference. So again, feet together, hands in front. You ready? Close your eyes and we're going to wiggle it just a little bit. Now I got a lot more fluidity going in my left. Feels a lot easier. How about you? Did it correct a little bit? Did it not? If you struggle with any of the exercises, please contact me. We can discuss what can work for you. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you like this video, if you want to see more videos, comment below and let me know what you are interested in learning. I'm here to help you move and groove and live your best life. So I inspire movement because aging doesn't have to be painful. Again, I'm Julie from Fitimize. If you haven't followed, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do. If you don't follow me on social media, please do. I keep you moving and living your best life. Thanks so much and have a wonderful day.